Hello! Welcome back to Lands of Law. Conrad, you ain't look so good, man. Take a nap. Or maybe not. Or not. So, uh, last time we picked up quite a few items. And now we have to... Oh, shit. Uh, actually choose where we wanna go. Uh, I don't know if any of the areas is basically gated. So we can go to the swamp because of reasons. I will demonstrate later on. We could also go back to the Urbish Mines, because now we can wreck the shit of that worm. <laughs> I guess I can demonstrate how devastating that thing is. Yeah, let's for, go to the mines. For one, like, quote-unquote practice run. Yeah, actually, let's explore a bit more, not that we miss anything good. I mean, yeah, it's, it's annoying because of the fucking wasps. Oh, Hornets. Hornets. Yeah. Yeah, we did take their honey. You know, they... And I would do it again. Fuck them. I don't have enough magic. Actually, let's try with it. <laughs> yeah, well, two shots them, so I guess it's a bit quicker than freezing them. But I don't know if it actually... Uh, if you skill magic by doing that. <laughs> What do you mean about it? No. Please. Fuck! Would you please heal? Thank you. Also, uh, I don't have enough magic to do that. Let's, let's do knife work. Come on. Fuck you. Right. Great. Yeah, we are not getting that nah. much sleep. I think this is also the the first area where you have to deal with actual respawn. So like the the first forest, the caves and shit. Uh, I guess the caves that respawn too, but less. Um, but most regions, I think, do not have respawn. This one does. Yeah, hornets for days. All right, cool. <sighs> Northwest. <laughs> so how are your mage levels, guys? That's pathetic. Hiding! Oh, come on. Fuck. Go away. Let me have that swarm. Okay, they are probably stealing the honey from the bees. I, I can live with that. I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. Like. Yeah, let, let me have that. As, <laughs> as, right. a, as a beekeeper, I am, <laughs> I am deeply troubled by this inaccuracy bugs me. I can't eat. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we don't need Roland's key anymore. Oh, nah. This is real stuff. A hornet's nest. I like how dramatically you throw stuff into the woods. Woof. <laughs> Go away, staff. You are no longer welcome here. Oh, that's the whole way back. Uh, yeah, well, we gotta... Because that might be the treasure chest triangle. Oops. So let's go not into the swamp, but this, this way. Mm, east. Mm, no. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in 81 damage? <laughs> or more? Yeah, well done, Bakata. Yeah, he's a beast. So his, his hit points are like constantly... Well, 
Not shit, but for some reason he's like the squishiest of them all. But he hits like a truck. Man, I don't want to waste a free spell. Just, just die. Thank you. Still, I gotta admit, I like them more than the crossbow ogres. Yeah. Now you have the armor. Whoa. Right. Your Hornet Wave tactics won't work. Oh. <sighs> All the trouble for a swarm. So yeah, as a side note, hornets are immune to bee attacks. Which I guess is rather accurate. <laughs> Actually... Oh it's yeah, not. the the cuddling bees. Yeah. So yeah, if you didn't know, there are bees in Japan who kill their Attackers or oppressors, rather, <laughs> by clustering around them and cuddling them to death. Because, as you might know, insects have this weird thing going on where most of them is like protein. And protein has the. Uh, no, what, what's. Alright. You can interrupt my education you for a cutscene. Hello, <laughs> come bother some don't press your luck. You don't want to make me angry. Okay. I have business in the tower now and I do not wish to be disturbed. Right. <laughs> the one is like, um, I'm just here to collect honey, actually. I wish you would just stay and fight. No, you don't, Conrad. You really don't. Uh, so the hornet's gone. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, um, uh, the proteins. So if you heat proteins, as you might know from your breakfast eggs, they fucking uh, clot. And that's basically what the bees are doing. They kill them, kill the hornets, by heating them up to a degree that they just clot and die inside. Which is gruesome as fuck. Um, the bees actually can tolerate higher temperatures, or their proteins can, so they are unharmed by that. I think per deadly cuddling, still like 10 bees or so die, but yeah, it's pretty fucking efficient. Uh, one hive has like 40,000 bees, so eh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a loss they can take. And yeah, the hornets are like, fuck this. This ain't worth it. Hornets don't have such big populations, right? They cap out around like 100? Mostly? Yeah, I think a bit more. Yeah, and they have a... Yeah, and, and we are talking... Uh, uh, the Japanese hornets are oh, yeah. like, uh, as big as my palm. Yeah, they... They are legit scary <laughs> and angry all the time. They have issues, man. Other than that, I mean... The Japanese ones are kind of like the odd hornet out. Hornets are pretty chill. Yeah, yes, it's chill. Um, they are hunters, of course, or, or predators, but they rarely do something. They're explorative, like most, uh, I guess, bee family insects. I don't know, like the striped ones with stingers. <laughs> they're they're all pretty. Like let let's explore here, and maybe there's cool shit. And yeah, so they often get into trouble because they go into your home and check it out. They want to leave, but they're too stupid to do so, because, like, getting inside through a window is no big fucking deal, but getting out, ooh, that's scary and different. But yeah, they are... then are a lot of hornets, yeah. Jesus. They're not as bad as these. So yeah, next time you see a hornet, just... Yeah, leave it alone, and it's probably gonna leave you alone. 
Alright, enough education. Let's kill Which Hornets. Is actually, true for wasps as well. Yeah. Yeah, wasps are. I mean, they are really uh, unpleasant uh, drunks. Yeah, yeah. So, but other than that, yeah, they just wanna eat your garbage. Wow, oh, this was excessive talking about pests <laughs> and insect predators. What were we actually going to do? Explore and... Um... We wanted eventually to go into the mines. Yeah. Uh, so there, are there. Uh, I guess everything else. Yeah, that's just another dead end, I guess. But I'm too curious. Yeah, and for once was not me who geeked out about insects. <laughs> I just like hornets. They are, they are elegant, efficient and, I mean, they have character. Kind of, sort of. And yeah, I mean, come on, if, if you have like these really cute fucking bees who cuddle other insects to death <laughs> as a defensive mechanism, that's worth talking about. Yeah. I'm sorry, talking about. <laughs> Area. All right, okay. I think we got everything. Um, so the only reason I'd vote for the swamp would be to sell shit. Yeah, then let's. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. I hope the merchant, is, uh, the vendor, is somewhere near the entrance. But yeah, let's see. Fuck. No, I did good. Uh, shit. West? West. Yes. So, the funny thing about the swamp. It's a death trap. Oh, hi. Bunda, identify yourself. We are from Gladstone. <laughs> if you come in peace, you are welcome. But be warned. Not long ago, we destroyed a passing band of orcs that invaded our beloved swamp. <laughs> yeah, they are fucking they're awesome. Adorable. They are great. They are the best. Um, you could theoretically attack them. Yeah, but why would you? Yeah, it's, it, there's really no reason. I mean, right from the beginning, this was a cutscene. I couldn't attack him or anything. So, but you can do that to basically drop him. So these pits are deadly. Uh, it's it's a game over state if you walk into them. But, you can freeze them. And that's why you can go into the swamp. You just have to watch your step. Swamp cars. That sucks. I forgot what it does, actually. <laughs> oh, this is a dead end. Yeah, you gotta love this one. Yuck, oh no, not you. No, you don't. Shit. Mm. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Tough. Yeah, yeah, of course I don't know. Oh yeah, everywhere where there's orc skulls, I think you are near a one of the swamp dwellers. But yeah, you just said that they attacked a band of orcs. Yeah, right. Uh, they are like a signifier that an NPC is near, I think. Mm -hmm. oh, shit. Wonder, remove your weapons before entering the chieftain's compound. Okay. Uh, I don't have enough inventory space. I am. I, I'm afraid. Uh. Oh shit. Mm. Yeah, that's a rock. 
Yeah, gotta be careful though, not that I insult Wonder. him by. Remove your weapons before entering the chieftain's yes. compound. I we will. Are trying. I'm I'm right on it. So alright, let's get the chainmail back into action. So, I removed my oh wait. No, you did not. You kind of have this huge axe. <laughs> yes. Oh you meant from all hands. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cute. Yeah, they are great. <laughs> ah, you come to trade with Igorka, no? Yes. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh. No, we. Um. Conrad. Conrad, shut up. Look, we have this beautiful red stone we take from orcs. What will you trade me for it? Uh, you want. Um, maybe a mace. I do not want that thing, but your eyes tell me you desire this red stone. Um, er, um yes, but, um... <laughs> you are powerful warriors, yes? Yes. I will make you a deal. Okay. If you can destroy the powerful living sticks that have stolen our beloved brass helmet, I oh. will give you the stone. Uh, I accept. Good. Bring the helmet as proof. Okay. We can... No problem. Yeah. No problem. problem. <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah, that was the chieftain, an honest and adorable swamp person. I like him a lot. N oh, uh, no. Uh. Uh, so you get this one, and you, Bacana, get the flare and the huge fucking axe, which is right here. Right, good. That's my pet rock. Oh, swamp guards! I, I remember. I now have seen what it does. It puts people to sleep mm. until they take damage. I think until you rest, probably. So where's your fucking weaponsmith? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Cover your nose, something here stinks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Rude. Yeah, really. Uh, I'll see around there. Oh, what the fuck are you supposed to be? You're one of them walking sticks? Walking sticks? Hmm. Oh man, this place. Ugh. I like the noise. <laughs> yeah, the, the Foley guy really went above and beyond for this game. Kudos, Mr. Sound Engineer. But, I know it wasn't typical for the industry, but also maybe Mr. Sound Engineer. Or, I actually only once met, uh, in, in the games industry, a female sound engineer. Who happened to work at our uh, studio. Ah, good job, Bakata. Oh, Dagger, yay. More oh, flask. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. mm, dip, dip, dip. Oh, come on. So are you actually vulnerable to this? No, not really. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I've been poisoned. 
Mm -hmm. I have a ginseng. <gasps> I'm drowning. Fuck. Oops. Yeah, this area is bullshit. <laughs> so, all right. Fuck. Yeah, I was going to say we didn't save for quite some time. Well, identify yourself. We are from Gladstone. If you come in peace, you are welcome. But we are. be warned, not long ago we destroyed a passing band of orcs that invaded our beloved swamp. Alright, thanks for the information. Help! Fuck! <laughs> Bunda, identify yourself! We are from Gladstone. Can you, you skip this? Yeah. At least. <sighs> Alright, so... Yeah, you have to be very careful in the swamp. Very careful. At least this time I can go the other way to check for the... Ugh, what's this garbage? Ugh, gross! <laughs> that, that's really gross. Oh, so there's a friendly lizard face. <laughs> Fucking asshole! Stop blocking the way! Useless. Hey. <laughs> oh, a shield. Uh. It was buckler. Nice. And a second shield for Bacata. I really like to see what they actually did for that. If they just high fived like a jello. <laughs> what have we here? A glint mail. What the fuck is glint? That's a bit better than scale. I just did. Oh, I just did. I I have learned my lesson <laughs> and will now say frequently. Uh, so let's back. Man, this must have been good times when you could just design games and make everything a fucking maze. <laughs> yeah, it's like old school D&D. &D. <laughs> yeah.
I mean, it's basically what it is. <laughs> so, all right, gotta go here, I guess. Oh yeah. Yeah, those those swamp pits are are really uh, are really old school D and D as holery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, total body wipe. Yeah, just just like that. <laughs> Stop throwing garbage at me. Fucking rude. Damn, just die. <laughs> <laughs> that was an elaborate complaint, Bakata. All right, let me let me try something. Actually, what do you mean you can't wear rings? His fingers are too thick. Well, <laughs> use other body parts, like the tongue. Shit! So you can't wear rings, so I can give him the fucking better ring to fucking exploit the game. Clever girl. Yuck, what a stench. It's a swamp. Deal with it. <laughs> yeah, at least it's not the swamp of eternal stench. <laughs> Could might as well be. So yeah, I don't have to visit the chief again because I can do that when we we know what we have to do basically. Um That fucking vendor. <laughs> I know there is one. That's the chief, that's a dead end. Yeah, you have two minutes left to find him. I can do this. Alright, the chest. I mean, the whole thing is good game design, like, that you can freeze the swamp and shit, hmm. but uh, the trap placement is just borderline unfair. Oh, Bacata oh is constantly saying, well, yeah, you can cheat it. <laughs> That's some acrobatic slime action there. <laughs> oh, no, no, just freeze. Oh yeah, this one looks good. Also, I guess the stick people only appear if you... Oh, fucking finally. Many greetings, travelers. <laughs> Have you any mysteries? Can you decipher riddles? Show me your riddle, and I will identify it for a small fee. Say, mm -hmm. 100 crowns? Oh, he's the, he's the cheating frog. So, you could actually give him the riddle and he will give you the answers. Um, you wanna do that? No, I don't. Alright. Perhaps I can sell you a fireball wand? Say, 300 crowns. I'd love to, but I don't have enough money. Perhaps I can sell you a fireball wand? Say, 300 crowns. It's actually a good deal. Farewell, friends! Sorry. So you are not the, the right vendor, but I think they are neighbors. They have to be. Let me have that! 
Yeah, should we check that out in the next episode? Nah, it's right around the corner. I can... it's, it's fine. Okay. I will probably edit out the part where we dropped on this one multiple times or something. Nah, it's, it's, it's fine. No. It, it's, it's good. Uh, bup, bup. Gods, something smells horrible. Oh, see, there's... There's a dude. Oh, shit. No, that's not the right one. I've been poisoned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Hi. Please look at my wares. I have only the best for sale. Sixty-five crowns. Sure. Twenty-five crowns. Yes. Take all the garbage. Crowns. Fifteen crowns. Hmm. Fifteen crowns. <laughs> For a one-hit weapon? No. Gotta and cutter. Seventy-five crowns. Yep. Seventy-five crowns. Yep. Twenty-five crowns. Sure. Twenty crowns. Twenty crowns. Ah, oh, so worth it. <laughs> Forty-five crowns. Twenty crowns. Twenty crowns. Twenty-five crowns. Do you like bees? Twenty-five crowns. Okay. Oh, yeah. Keys? I don't want that. Oh. <laughs> 20. Yeah, so the 20. swarms really lose uh, potency towards later levels, but we picked up an Ebony stuff that's like a swarm battery. So they're like crowns. 5 to Ooh. 10 uses. What, what did I just sell? You sold a dagger. Yeah, for, I think for, the assassin. For 100 crowns? <laughs> Jesus, that must have been some cool secondary effect. 25 crowns. All right, I guess that's it. I just have to tidy this up till next episode. Yeah. And yeah, we'll see you then. Bye.